Hey guys, this is Vimal here and welcome back to my channel. So how's your Sunday going people? I hope you all are having a great day. So guys, today I'm back with an interesting laptop video and this video can be like super useful for a lot of you guys. Thing is, you people only keep asking me like, hey Vimal, can you suggest us some affordable budget category laptops under 20,000 rupees or maybe around this price range? See, and the main purpose is like uh, for your day-to-day -day usage or online classes, mainly for students, parents or maybe teachers. Features. And today we'll be doing the same exact thing. So guys, Asus has recently launched their new lineup of affordable Chromebooks in India. And you know, the pricing starts at only 17,999 and goes up to like 23,000 depending on the model and the variant. The one we have right now is the most affordable Chromebook that costs only around 17,999 guys. And today in this video, we're gonna unbox and you know, check out the product. Like how useful is it? And should you actually buy this for the price? So let's get started. So our brand new Chromebook from ASUS comes in this sort of box packaging. It's a very small and compact cardboard box and there's nothing much written on it, just the ASUS branding says in search of incredible and has some pricing details over here. It says 24,990 on the box, but it's actually available for only 17,999 online. Going to the backside, we've got some of its features and highlights. The model we'll be reviewing today is C223N and this one is in silver color variant. Comes with 11.6 inch HD LCD display Play. It's powered by Intel's Celeron 3350 CPU, has 4 gigs of RAM on board and 32 GB of eMMC storage. So those were some of its main specs and highlights. Now without wasting any more time, let's get started with the unboxing. Let me just tear the seal on the package. And as soon as you open the box, we've got our brand new budget category Chromebook from ASUS at the top side. Comes nicely packed in this cotton bag and there you go guys, our first look at the Chromebook. Oh wow, this actually looks good. You've got the Chromebook branding. We'll just come back to the laptop in a moment. Along with that, you get some paperwork in the package, main card for the adapter, and a power adapter for charging the laptop. So that was our unboxing part and first look at this Chromebook. Now let me tell you about the design and then I'll give you an overview on all the sides and show you what do we have on it and then we'll talk about the specs and features and all that stuff. See, first of all, if you ask about the design, the ASUS Chromebook C223N has a very minimalistic design and let me tell you, it actually looks quite nice for the price. Nobody can say that it's a cheap looking laptop. Uh, that is because it's got this premium silver kind of finish. So build quality is very good. The entire body is made of plastic and you know, it's got this clean silver kind of look on the front with the ASUS branding and Chromebook logo at the top side. And that is it. There is nothing else written on it. And one more thing I have to tell is the laptop is very compact and portable. The whole size of this Chromebook is less than an A4 sheet paper. And it's also like quite lightweight, only weighs around like one kg. So you can easily throw it in your bag, carry it anywhere. So great portability. And also the thickness is quite thin guys, it's only around like 0.68 inches. So what I'll do is I'll just give you a closer look at the sides and then we'll talk about the available connectivity ports on it. So starting off from the left side, over here you've got a type C port for charging, then you've got a battery charging indicator. There's also a micro SD card slot, so you can even insert a micro SD card and expand the storage on it up to 2 TB. Beside that you've got a 3.5 mm headphone jack and then there's a USB 3.1 type A port. That's it. There is nothing much on the front side guys, clean look and going to the other side, well, there's one more USB type C port and that's it. These are all the available connectivity ports on it. Going to the back side, well, there's nothing over here. And here's how the Chromebook looks from the bottom. Well, a clean look here as well, a complete gray finish. You've got rubber foot pads on all the corners, some info regarding the laptop and the model. And you see these two speaker grills on the bottom left and right. Well, these are the stereo down firing speakers. And that is pretty much it guys, our complete overview on the exteriors. Now let me just open up the laptop and show you how the interiors of it look like. So as soon as you open it, there you go. This is how our brand new Asus Chromebook C 223N laptop looks like. Now, as mentioned at the beginning, guys, it's a very compact laptop and ASUS has actually made like different models that come with different display options. You've got HD, you've got full HD displays, then you've got touch and the non-touch variants. And you also have like flip variants of Chromebooks available as well. So you can use that even as a tab mode. And all of these are like categorized into different prices. I leave links in the description box for each of them. You can check it out there. Now talking about the model we have right now, well, this one comes with 11.6 inch HD LCD display that 
features 45% NTSC color gamut and 200 nits of brightness and also has anti-glare coating on it. And geez, I have to say it's got some thick bezels on the sides and top and bottom. I do agree that this is a budget category affordable Chromebook, but hey, Asus, this is 2021, right? I believe you could have done something about those bezels and, you know, made it look a bit more attractive. Anyways, on the bottom side, you've got the Asus branding and going to the top, you've got some sensors and a 720p HD webcam. So yes, that is there and you can easily use it for your online classes or maybe for your interviews or maybe some business meetings and these sort of stuff. And guys, that was about the upper half. Now going to the lower half, this is how it looks like. So what I'll do is I'll just give you a closer look at the keyboard and touchpad and talk about them. The Chromebook C223N features an edge-to-edge -edge chiclet keyboard and let me tell you the quality of the keyboard is actually pretty good. It offers a comfortable experience, the keys on it feel tactile and clicky, offer a good feedback and with a key travel of around 1.5mm, it was offering a comfortable typing experience while using. And best part is it's also spill resistant. And now coming to the touchpad, I felt the touchpad size is a bit small but anyways it gets your job done. The quality of the touchpad is also nice, easily recognizes all my inputs and gestures and has had no dead zone issues also anywhere. Alright guys, so now let me tell you about the display and the sound. See, first of all, keep in mind that this is a very affordable budget category laptop, so don't expect like too much from it. Uh, this one features 11.6 inch HD LCD display and display quality was like decent for the price. Not that great also. Again, if you want like better display quality, then you'll have to check out like the higher end Chromebook variants which feature like a full HD panel. Over here, you're only getting like a 720p HD display, right? So detail is there, but not that crisp or sharp and also the colors were like decent fine but not that rich or vibrant because it's only 45% NTSC color gamut. The brightness was decent though 200 nits quite sufficient for indoor usage and the overall color temperature color balance everything was fine not an issue at all. See, for that price point, it is satisfactory, no complaints from my side. And on top of that, it's also anti-glare coated, right? So you can say bye-bye to all the reflections and glares. So that is one nice thing. But one thing I do have to mention is the viewing angles of this display were not that great. Especially if you view this display from extreme sides or top or bottom, the display looks a bit washed out, you know, with the colors faded and these sort of stuff. So keep that in mind. Now coming to the sound, I've told you, right, the laptop features down firing stereo speakers and actually to be honest I was quite impressed with the sound quality for the price. It was producing good clarity sound with minimum distortion and the audio output also loud and satisfactory. Yo guys, this is Vimal here and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm super excited because I'm back with a brand new gaming PC build. So remember a couple of weeks ago, I actually made an unboxing video on a special open frame case from Cooler Master. It was called The Frame. Well, that was like a unique and a concept like... So now let's talk about the important stuff like the performance, how is the day-to-day -day usage and all that. But before that, a lot of you people have a bit of confusion like uh, what's the difference between Chrome OS and Windows? Windows OS. Like a lot of people are not familiar with Chrome OS, right? So let me tell you. See, Windows OS is like a professional OS that is mainly targeted for like professional kind of use. It's more versatile. You can do a lot more stuff over there. But again, for this price point, you won't get Windows laptops. That is not possible. For this price point, you'll only get like Chrome OS. And let me tell you, Chrome OS is like very similar to Android, guys. If you've used Android, everything is like very similar to that only. You've got Chrome Web Store on it. You've got Android's Play Store and basically the whole UI, everything feels like Android phone only. So if your parents are quite familiar with this Android category phones, right, they can easily use these sort of Chromebooks also. And one good thing I like about Chromebooks is you can easily sync them with your phone and get all sorts of notifications, whatever you get on your phone, right, directly on the laptop. And also it has that nearby share features. You can directly transfer files between phones and the Chromebook and these sort of stuff. So let me just give you a quick overview and show you how Chrome OS on it looks like. So basically guys, this is how the home screen on Chrome OS looks like. You've got the app launcher to the extreme left and some app shortcuts at the center and on the bottom right you've got uh, the status and notifications panel and by clicking on that you can easily access some quick settings toggles like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, you can easily adjust the sound level, brightness and these sort of stuff. See the whole UI and layout looks pretty similar to Android phones only right so it'll feel quite easy and convenient using these sort of Chromebooks. Now if you want to access all the available apps on the Chromebook then simply just click this button on the extreme left and there you go this is how the launcher on it looks like. Now you can use the touchpad and easily navigate and you know select what 
whatever app you want. Now the rest of the UI and the interface is pretty much the same as an Android phone so I don't want to go in depth. Let's just quickly head over to the settings and I'll give you a quick glance at that also. So there you go, this is how the settings app looks like. You can easily access all your connectivity things, Bluetooth settings and easily connect your Android phone with it and these sort of stuff. And in the device section, you can check out the storage management also. Now this is the 32 GB variant, right? And 10.9 GB has already been used. So you're left with around like 21 GB of usable space and not to worry, you can even expand the storage on it using a micro SD card up to 2 TB. So that was our quick overview on Chrome OS. Feels very similar to Android, right? It's basically that only. So now let me tell you about the performance and day-to-day -day usage. See, the Asus Chromebook C223N is powered by Intel Celeron N3350 dual-core CPU. It's a two-core, two-thread CPU with a max turbo clock of up to 2.4 gigahertz, has Intel HD Graphics 500, 4 GB DDR4 RAM, and 32 GB of onboard storage. So initially, I was a bit skeptical because this is a very affordable budget category laptop right so i thought it might be a bit sluggish especially when i open like multiple apps or maybe run multiple tabs on chrome but to be honest in my last few days of usage right i was actually impressed because it was not that sluggish also it was doing a good job actually for the price point i could easily open and handle multiple apps at the same time run multiple tabs of chrome also like four to five at the same time one with streaming video at 1080p 60fps and the other downloading some apps from play store and i didn't face any sort of issues it was actually handling everything smoothly only so that is one nice thing and also guys it's like good for your day-to-day -day usage you can use it for streaming watching videos or maybe attending your online classes or taking some notes because it's mainly designed for students and parents and teachers right for these sort of activities only so it'll easily get your job done again let me tell you this is not made for productive or professional category work it comes with chrome os it's for like day-to-day -day simple sort of usage only and you can't even do like heavy graphic intensive gaming on this you can play a bit of basic and simple games but don't expect you'll be able to play something like PUBG, Battlegrounds. This is not possible. So keep that in mind. We're almost coming to an end guys. So let me tell you about the battery life. Battery life on this laptop is actually very good. On my day-to-day -day usage, like, you know, browsing web and streaming some videos on YouTube and downloading some stuff in the background, using the webcam also for like quite some time for attending some online classes and these sort of usage now, you can easily get around like eight to nine hours of usage on one charge. And charging was also quite fast. It took only around like one hour, 20 minutes to fully charge the laptop. So that is pretty much it guys, that was my video on this brand new budget category Chromebook from ASUS, the C223N. It's a very good laptop, especially for that price point of around 17,999. It comes with a decent display, offers good performance for the price, comes with a 720p HD webcam and basically runs on Chrome OS, right? Which is very light version of OS and can easily get most of your job done. Also, I have one more thing to say. A lot of people are also confused, like should they buy a Chromebook, which is around like 17,000 rupees or should they buy a tab, which is around like 15,000? 15,000 you get like plenty of models in the market like you get some from Lenovo, some from Samsung. So which one should you buy? If you guys are interested in this sort of video also just let me know and I can make a comparison like should you buy a tablet for that price or should you buy this Chromebook which is better? Let me know in the comment section and I'll definitely do this on my channel. So that is pretty much it guys and I've already told you about the pricing right starts at 17,999 and goes up to 23,000 depending on the model. The higher end variants also feature like touch display play flip capabilities and these sort of stuff links will be in the description box below so that is pretty much it for today i hope you all enjoyed and got to learn a lot about this product make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more new awesome videos and i'll see you all in my next one